All right, this is uh, all right from Andrew Cabo, and today I want to show you guys uh, uh, how to root your Kindle on the latest firmware. Um, so you want to make sure that you connect your uh, your Kindle to your PC. But before you do that, uh, it's really important that you go into here under the settings on your security and make sure that you enable ADB here. And you got to do that before you connect, okay? And your drivers have to be installed correctly, and I have the link to the um, article where you can download the drivers, but make sure the drivers are installed correctly, you enabled ADB, and then you connect afterwards. And when you do that, if, if you've done that correctly, then when you go to your computer under Device Manager here, I'm, I'm trying to zoom in here, Device Manager, you should see something under Kindle, and it should say Android uh, Composite ADB, okay? This one right here. So if you, if you see that, then you installed, uh, you installed it uh, correctly, okay? And then what you want to do is download the binary file. Uh, that also will be on the post here. And you want to unzip that to a folder and unzip it here. Um, and once you once you open that, then there's this uh, run me file. And so just click that and run that and you'll get you'll get the box here. OK, so this is going to be pretty easy. So you have your Kindle. So again, your Kindle is is connected. OK, we have via USB drivers are installed. Everything is good. And uh, here you're gonna to want to pick uh, you're gonna to want to pick option one, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is. You pick option one, and you're going to get um, it's gonna get started here. And okay, so my my Kindle I'm gonna get this restore screen. It's exactly what you should get, okay? And all you gotta do is just hit the restore my data button, and what it's gonna do is gonna reboot here. It's gonna take a little bit of a second, but it's going to uh, reboot here. And you can see that it tells you it's going to reboot, waiting for device. Okay, so now it's rebooted. Now it's very important that you keep the program here running and you keep this plugged in, okay? Because what's going to happen is that after this first reboot, our Kindle is going to boot again, but it's going to be uh, super slow. It's going to be very unresponsive, uh, and that's okay, and that's exactly what it, should, uh, what it should be doing, okay? But during this whole time, you need to keep this plugged in and, and the program here running as well. So don't disconnect anything. So it's going to be a little bit slow, this part of it, uh, but that's okay. So just wait till it boots. Um, and then you what you're going to want to do is you can see it's very slow, right? You can see the screen is taking a very long time uh, to show up here, uh, but that's okay. That's uh, exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, so hopefully here in a second, we're gonna we're gonna unlock the device, okay? As you can see, very sluggish. Let's see here. Okay, I think I finally got it unlocked. Okay, so that's okay. And then you can see the program here found the device again, and it says uh, it's copying files and it's gonna reboot again. So there you go. You see, it just rebooted again. Okay, and now you are rooted. Okay, now it's when it uh, loads back up, um, you will have uh, will no longer be sluggish and you will be rooted. As you can see here, it also tells you press any key. Um, if you can see that, press any key, you're done. And again, if you visit the page, you can see uh, what exactly it shows here. I have a, I have a picture of it. Uh, so now it's, your Kindle is going to reboot, and as you can see, it says it's upgrading. And uh, that's uh, that's fine, and it should behave normal now. For the most part, okay. So that's it. So now you can see it's it's normal. It's it's no longer slow. Um, and if you go to the app section, you can see there it is, the all important super user. Okay, that uh, basically means you're you're rooted. Okay, there's a super user app. You can open it. You don't need to do anything with this app. Uh, you can just leave it there. Um, actually, in fact, you shouldn't do anything with this app. Uh, and another way to double check is we're going to go to the ES File Explorer app here. I'm going to show you guys here real quick. And if you go to this menu here, and I have another video on you showing you this. And if you go to Root Explorer here, um, you get a menu, and that's perfect, right? Uh, if you don't get that menu, if you're not rooted, you will get an error message saying that test failed. Okay? So that shows you'll be rooted. So that's it. As you can see, it took less, uh, probably about a minute for that to happen. And this is on the latest um, uh, 7.4.3. And I'm going to show you uh, here as well, just to about. So there it is. I don't know if you can see that, but that's uh, 7.4.3. So that's it. So it's really simple. 
uh, really takes not much. And um, I also have videos on unrooting and if you want to go back to stock and uh, plenty of other videos. So I hope you guys like this video. Definitely subscribe to our channel. Um, we have definitely have more videos coming. And again, this is shot through glass. Um, and uh, please, uh, you know, visit the webpage uh, Android Cowboy for much more, much more stuff.